Welcome. We're going to talk a little bit about the spruce now and the things that the spruce does. Uh, spruce cones are used to make a tea to relieve colds and helps maintain good health. All of the parts of the spruce tree, uh, um, all of the parts of the spruce tree, some elders believe the cones make the best medicine. Cones are picked year round from the tops of young trees. Also, the spruce cones are used to make, uh, are uh, usually uh, five to 15 cones are gently boiled for 10 to 15 minutes in a pot of water. Uh, the longer they boil, the stronger the medicine becomes. Uh, branches are sometimes put into the pot for the spruce cone, uh, the, uh, into the pot as well. Uh, it just makes it stronger. You can either do just the spruce cones or the spruce cones with some of the boughs. And if you really want a strong one, then use the boughs, right? Uh, some of the medicinal actions of uh, the spruce tree. Um, it's an allergenic, uh, allergistic, reduces pain, whether it's administered internally or externally. It's uh, antifungal. Uh, fights to prevent fungal infections like athlete's foot or canad canadendus. Uh, antimicrobial helps destroy or resist pathogenic, pathogenic microorganisms. Uh, your doctor is probably going to say some of these words that will perk you up. It's like, oh, hey, that's what my doctor said. I'm not sure what it meant. <laughs> it's an antiseptic. Contains antibacterial antimicrobial substances that are applied to the skin to reduce the possibility of infections. Uh, it's a disinfectant kills microorganisms that might carry diseases. Uh, the root can be pounded and boiled to make a liquid medicine. Uh, sticky gum or uh, the sap that runs out of it. Uh, it's a clear sticky sap that can be found year round on the spruce tree uh, in the springtime and stuff You can get it when it's really clean uh, Usually later on in the spring or the fall or the summer uh, The sap will get really hard and uh, whitey crusty on the outside You'll probably have bugs in there uh, all sorts of stuff, right? And so they're usually you'll collect it uh, if you're gonna cut down the spruce tree anyway um the you make cuts into it and then the sap will run out and then that's the sap that you'll you'll gather but don't cut the tree just because you want the sap gather gather at the right times when the sap's running right uh, this, this. uh spread the sticky gum or sap on warm canvas or bandage uh then place it on the chest and uh Dressing, uh, keep it on until it drops off by itself. Uh, this remedy helps. This, uh, doing this uh, relieves uh, tuberculosis and any chest, chest congestions, right? So basically, you're just grabbing the sap, you're putting it on a Band-Aid, uh, you're having really bad tuberculosis or chest pains, you're going to apply that sap on there, then you're going to apply it onto your chest, and then you're going to just leave it there until it falls off on its own and it'll just do its own thing right uh, spruce gum can also be boiled strained and cooled to make a nice tea uh, like spruce cone tea this tea is used to relieve colds and maintain good health most of the things that the spruce does it just maintains good health it just keeps you healthy all the time right uh, spruce cones are used to make. oh I already read that uh, inner spruce bark. The inner bark, uh, like spruce and willows, uh, the bark is stripped off the tree and the white pulpy layer on the inside of the bark is peeled and scraped. It's called the cambium layer. That's what it's called is cambium layer. So what you're going to do is you're going to peel off the outer bark, the real rough stuff, and then on it'll be really liquidy, smoothy and white on the inside. You'll get your knife and you'll peel that knife, just scrape it down. And it's exactly like pine noodles. If you've ever collected pine noodles, you're doing the same thing here. And earlier on I said the the inner bark you can make for um uh, into a liquid medicine 
that's the part that you'll pound too. You'll just pound that, add a little bit of water, and then it'll turn into a into a liquid medicine. And it'll be pasty, pulpy too. That you can apply right onto your wounds and your, your owies, right? Uh, the outer bark is useful for making smokehouse, for drying fish. Uh, they used, we used to go out in the early spring, peel off great big chunks of the outer bark and we'd use it for the sidings of our smokehouse. The reason we would do that is uh, insects as well. Uh, it'll repel the insects. Uh, it also, um, it's a lot better than wrapping your smokehouse with uh, plywood or, or uh, a tarp of some sort of any type. You get a better airflow um, when you're using it. And so we used to just use the great big strips of inner bark and then put them up on the sides of our smokehouse. Right? Uh, or the outer bark. Uh, young spruce tips. Chew the tips of the young spruce. And that's what I was showing you uh, in one of the videos as the young spruce tips. Uh, helps relieve itchy throats and is good for any kind of cool colds or flus. Spruce tips can be collected year round, boiled with cones and the branches. Boil the tips in the house to keep sickness away. We use juniper to do that and we also use cedar to do that uh, to keep sicknesses out of our house. And you're just boiling it on top of your stove. Spruce boughs, believed with the, uh, believe that the aroma of the boughs inside a house or in your, uh, inside your house keeps uh, people healthy. The small young trees are considered to be particularly therapeutic. Spruce branches can also be boiled to produce a steam that relieves cold symptoms and maintains good health. And so if you're feeling really sick and you got a cold, uh, you can just grab the spruce cones or the spruce boughs, put it in a pot of water, boil it up, put a towel over your head, in through the nose, out the mouth four times, in through the mouth, out the nose four times, and just keep doing that back and forth until you feel really healthy. And I hope that little bit of information helped you. It's just to get your taste buds wet <laughs> so that you can go out and research it on your own. And remember, laughter is the best medicine. And water, water, water. It's, it's even better than any of the stuff that I'm talking about right now. Water is medicine. And COVID's happening to us, or for us, not to us. Have a great day.